at times we lose our data from computers and other devices such as mobile iPods by accidentally deleting them so then million dollar question arises how to recover them so internet is flooded with lots of paid softwares and some of them actually works but we know about two softwares which are brilliant and yet they are free and open source so let's try test disk which is one of the most frequently used software so just google test disk and you will be shown this kind of page just click on download and this kind of page will appear so the website automatically detects which kind of operating system you are using here we are using mac os so just click on the green button in case this is the wrong operating system or you are using some other operating system then you can look out for your operating system for example if you are using windows then click on these and if you are using linux then you can download these so these are most of them are pre-compiled files which are good for linux windows mac and after that so just click on that and the download process will start after that go to finder and you can see the file which is downloaded now double click on this file to e extract the files inside it and it will form a folder which will contain all the files so here we are concerned about test disk while photo rack is also a brilliant software so next step is to go to launchpad type terminal and then you will be shown this kind of screen and now so this is terminal so just go to downloads And here we can see uh, the text folder, test disk folder. And now what we need to do is, so we are already inside test disk. Just type test disk and press enter. Oopsie. So just type test disk. So now this page, this window will appear which says test disk 7.0 zip so it's a data recovery utility and here so it's a as it says it's a free data recovery software designed to help recover lost partitions or data from your device so just create, uh, click on or select create And here, uh, so it will ask for your the password. So just uh, give, uh, just provide the root password of your computer, so as to give it super privileges. Now, if you are not sure about what to do, then please don't proceed, or call someone who has prior knowledge of how this thing works. Choose the partitions or media very carefully because in case you choose the wrong one, then the data will be gone forever and there will be great difficulty in order to recover the data since we are having 500 gb hard disk in our in this device which is our macbook pro so we really don't want to proceed with it while there is a external hard disk which is 1000 gb hard disk which is attached to it and you want to recover data from it so now just click on proceed or press enter because mouse will not work on terminal so in case you have some other device such as iPod or pen drive attached with it then you will be shown it over here so just carefully select it and you can recognize your pen drive iPod or any device by seeing its capacity so in case you know that uh, the pen drive is of 8 GB then most probably it is the correct option so select that one and then proceed with it so here uh, we are going with proceed so it says write access for this media is not available 
and test disk won't be able to modify it which means that in case the privileges are not provided to test disk then test disk won't be able to do anything so what we are going to do is we are going to have our pen drive installed in this computer and then we will experiment with it so now we have inserted the pen drive and we copied about five files in it and then we removed it so now we uh, our task is to recover those files which were deleted accidentally so first of all we will go to terminal we will type sudo space dot slash test disk and then we will click on append on create and then we will select the right media from which we have to recover the data the, here we can see 8004 MB which means it's a 8 GB pen drive we will be selecting it so, uh, so press on proceed then it says there is no right access for this media so just continue click on con uh, press on continue um, as it says continue even if right access isn't available so yeah then select Intel partition or if we can go so just click on analyze and here you can just click on select backup in the bottom you can see it over here and then here we can see p list files so just click on p and here we can see um, these files in red so these are the files which we removed accidentally and now we want to recover them so just as you can see there are some shortcuts so just press a and then c capital c for capital c you have to uh, press shift and then capital c or as in click on shift and then press c now these files are copied and we want to paste it somewhere so yeah um, just select uh, so in this case we are selecting the default location which is the test disk our destination folder so just again click uh, press the same key shift and then c so it says copying the files and copy is done so now what we need to do is we need to quit by pressing q and then again Q and then select quit then select quit again and then select quit again so now we are back inside into our folder test text folder so we just need to list the files here we can see the files which we wanted to recover are now available and then a few are here so this is what we wanted to achieve. We wanted to recover the data which we accidentally lost. So this is the process of using test disk. But ensure that when you lost the data, don't uh, don't play with it or don't copy more data into it. Because if the data is written over the disk, then the space which was left by the deleted files will be taken with the new files taken by the new files so please don't play with it just use test disk immediately after you have deleted the files i hope this will help thank you for watching the video